This is a clip that happened last night on CNN between Don Lemon and, and one of his guests in an exchange that was going on. And it really does show the reason, it, it shows the arrogance and the disdain of the people in the left that live in their ivory towers and assume that everybody that doesn't think the same way that they do, well, they must be a moron. That's the, really the only explanation that they could give. So here it is. And it, obviously it's false. And look, he also knows deep in his heart that Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane <laughs> next to it. He knows that this is, you know, an, an administration defined by ignorance of the world. And so that's partly him playing to their base and playing to their audience, uh, you know, the, the, the credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think that, that, that Donald Trump's a smart one and they're, oh, y'all, y'all, y'all elitists are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you, you elite us with your geography and your maps and your spelling, even though my your math and even, your reading. <laughs> yeah, you're reading, you know, your geography, knowing other countries, sipping your latte. <laughs> All those lines on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Only them elite us know where Ukraine is. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. Is but by, but by Ukraine. Ukraine. Oh my God. But, but, but you know what? But, <laughs> But it was Rick's fault. I blame Rick. Oh but, you know, but, but in all honesty, but all, blame you know what Rick. NPR should do? Why not? Sorry, hold on. You, wait, wait. Can yeah, I tell give you me what, a second. You, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> that was good. Sorry. Rick, you, that you, was a good one. I needed that. All right. So a couple of things here. Basically, what this showed, and, and like I said, I don't, I don't even want to use the word revealed because this is something that if you've watched Don Lemon for more than, I would say, five consecutive minutes, and if you have, then God bless you for your sacrifice. <laughs> I mean, that's, um, I, I gotta believe Don Lemon's show is the only one playing in hell, and that's part of the punishment. <laughs> but, ultimately what this goes down to is that there is a seething disdain for anybody that disagrees with them. Now, the first part is not funny, but it's not something that I'm bothered by. Because we all know that they don't like Trump. We all know that they joke about him all the time. That's not an uncommon thing. That's pointed at an actual political figure. Now, should this be something that is airing on the show of somebody that claims to be a journalist, which Don Lemon has done on the air multiple times, that thinks of himself as a objective news person that's just telling you the facts? No, it absolutely shouldn't. But the point is, that's Don Lemon's shtick. He, he's on CNN and he hates the president. I mean, that's basically his entire resume. So Don Lemon does that, and that part... It, the, the very first jab that he takes about Trump not being able to find Ukraine on a map, and I don't know whether he could or not, but the way that he phrased it just wasn't funny. And, and when it comes to a joke, I think there are definitely bad jokes that you shouldn't tell even if they are funny, but if the joke just isn't funny, then regardless of whether or not the content was offensive or not, then the joke doesn't doesn't hold water and shouldn't. But when it comes to the rest of it, where he's not attacking Trump, he's attacking people that supported Trump or voted for Trump. The way that he cast every single Trump voter, the way that he cast him is like, well, that plays into the demographic of his base who who can't read a map and, and are incapable of spelling correctly and reading. And then he goes into a stereotypical Southern accent. Now, it's a pretty bad Southern accent, but the point is it's a Southern accent, and that's the thing that he's trying to portray and of course, Trump is very popular in the South. Then another thing that he says in there is the boomer rubes. In other words, the imbeciles, the neophytes, the little people that live between these metropolises of enlightened people on the coast in New York City and L.A. Everybody that lives between that, those, those country fi fried morons that are mouth breathers out there that are so stupid that they voted for Trump, those are the people that I'm talking about, the ones that can't read a map and can barely read it all and can't spell. The arrogance just drips off of these people. It is overflowing out of them. They just think that they're so much smarter and so much better than you. If there was ever a 
this is why you got Trump moment, that's it. Not that specific moment, but this attitude that people in the media and on the left have towards anybody that disagrees with them on a policy issue. The only explanation for why you could disagree with them is because you're just a blithering country fried idiot. And that's the reason that you have Trump, and if we could just get rid of you people, if we could just get rid of your voice and make your vote not count, then the country would be a better place. See, the thing is, you're too stupid to make your own decisions, which is why the government needs to take control and make your decisions for you. Really, this is the same attitude that's at the heart of all progressive thinking, that you're not smart enough as an individual to make it on your own, to run your own business, to do the right thing, to protect the planet, to take care of the poor and the needy. See, you're, you're just too dumb to do that, and you won't do it because you're a terrible person on top of that, and because of that, we need to step in and make you do it. We need to make you be charitable with taxes. We need to make you not fat by taking away certain things, taking away the bad options that you're not smart enough to avoid. It all goes back to control. And that is what epito is epitomizing that. It's not making fun of Southerners, or it's not that this offends me because it, it takes a jab at people that tend to think like I do. Granted, I'm not a Trump voter myself. I didn't vote for the guy the first time. But that's not it. I mean, look at Jeff Foxworthy, Larry the Cable Guy, Bill Ingvall, Jerry Clower. Those guys spend... 90% of their routines making fun of Southerners. And who is their biggest audience? Other Southerners. It's not that they're offended by anybody making fun of them or that they can't take a joke. It's that the reason that this guy is doing it is because he hates those people. And so does Don Lemon. He wasn't laughing at the joke because it was funny. He was laughing at it because it gave him an outlet to voice his hatred of the people that disagree with him. That's what it boils down to. Now, you'll hear me often make fun of other candidates specifically, and I'll also make fun of the mannerisms of, of certain people, like I'll make fun of hipsters or something like that, but I don't assume that they're terrible people and I don't assume that they're idiots. That's the difference. Don Lemon gets on his show every single night to voice his disdain for these people, and this guy gave him an outlet to say it directly. That's why he was enjoying himself so much. It goes back to this mentality that they're just so much smarter and so much better than you, and that's why they need to be able to be empowered to make all of your decisions for you, and when you little people start making decisions that we don't like, like electing a guy that's not even a politician as president, well, then we have to step in and do something about it, like, you know, kick the guy out of office for no reason at all. That's the shtick that Adam Schiff is doing right now. We can't let the American people interfere with the election. We can't wait and hold off on this thing and wait for, you know, facts and evidence and all of that other stuff when we've got to get rid of this guy because the American people might vote for him again. That's essentially a, the long and short of what Adam Schiff has been saying for the past three weeks. And these are the same people that think you're such an idiot, that you're too stupid to get in out of the rain, that also think that men can get pregnant. The implication that every single Trump voter is a imbecile, ironically, is the reason that they call people like this elitist. Because they just assume that if you disagree with them, the only possible explanation is that you're just too dumb. You're just too dangerous, too stupid. That's what an elitist is. Somebody that assumes that everybody that doesn't think like them is just beneath them. Now, I know you're here because you're interested in information on what's going on in the state of Alabama and around the world, and you've come to the right place for that. But it's YouTube, so you could also just be here because you're bored. If you want me to keep making videos to keep you occupied, you need to go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back to playing Minesweeper.